I'm sorry. So uh, I'm putting together a fruit salad and I wanted to go over some of the different types of fruits that you can use in a fruit salad and how to complement them with some vegetables to help keep electrolyte balance, to help your glucose levels to be more stable and to provide like a side for a protein that you can add to your salad um, and just give you some structure throughout the day so that you're not feeling weak throughout the day and that you're getting just your small amounts of food when you need it throughout the day. And some people need four meals, small meals a day, and some people need five small meals a day. Children, you know, need to snack a little bit more frequently, but they should have meal time and not just snack time because if you're snacking all day long, you're just uh, causing some uh, disruption from the gut to the brain and uh, processing delays and things of that nature with learning and uh, some other issues. So let's just go over some of the things that I picked up here. I have avocados are great to add to a fruit salad or have on the side of a salad. Cucumbers offer a lot of electrolytes. You can put cucumbers or celery in there. Uh, we have some pineapple, fresh organic pineapple. I picked up some strawberries from a local farm, some blueberries and blackberries from the local farm. Um, I, I already started off with a, I just bought one pear <laughs> and then I cut it up as I need it. Uh, but you can also have that pre-cut so that you can add it to your salad. Different types of pears maybe. Uh, some people have some allergies to uh, different tree uh, fruits. So um, eliminating some of the other things in your diet, uh, such as the wheat grains and some of those refined grains can reduce the responses to these, but if you have to eliminate, that's fine. Um, these are the yellow mangoes that are out now and they're in season. Uh, I love mango and those can be added to anything. I have some fresh watermelon, uh, fresh um, cantaloupe, I wish I could have had this already the other day so I could offer it to some other people. These are green apples and green apples are wonderful medicinal supports because they're tart. And some of the tart flavors in our food are medicinal internally. So remember that you're not always going for the sugars, uh, the sugary sweet taste, you're going for the tartness. Now I only have one of my apricots left because I've been adding those to my meals this past week. So I'm gonna add that to this. And if you don't know what a persimmon is, persimmon, uh, you know, buy one, chop it up and use it. It almost looks like a, a yellow tomato, but um, these are a part of the fruit family and tomatoes are considered a part of the fruit family. Um, this is um, dragon fruit. Uh, I use that intermittently throughout some of my, my salads. Um, then the kiwis. So a little kiwi, those are great for potassium. You know, we always rely on bananas, but potassium's in almost every food that you eat. It's just a matter of how much you're eating and what you're complementing it with so that it's balanced. If you eat too much of one type of food or one type of mineral or one type of electrolyte uh, type food, you might throw things way out of balance. Then I have these beautiful cherries that I purchased and I'm gonna take, you know, take the stems off and, and pit them. Uh, something else you can add to your salads, you can either get fresh unsweetened coconut, I picked up this brand, and these are just little coconut chunks and you can sprinkle that. Uh, you can either cut them smaller or just add them the way they are to be a part of your, your salad. Now, if you're gonna put it over a bed of something, um, I love microgreens. So I picked up a couple containers of microgreens and microgreens are great to either be the base of the salad or to add on top of a salad. And then also, um, you know, getting some of your, romaine is good for water content. It, it, it has a lot of water content in it. But you also wanna get, wanna get these different types of greens in your salads because these uh, supply different parts of the nutrients that you need uh, from the earth. Um, now, this is my favorite type of bean. Not everybody is aware of lupini beans, but they are very high in um, 
they are very high in protein, they're 20 grams. Now, soybeans are right under there. Now, what I wanna say is lupinis are beans, they're part of the legume family, so are soybeans, chickpeas, and you must always remember that you should rotate the types of beans you use so that if you're eating hummus every single day, you're probably eating too much of the chickpea family, okay? Uh, in that, that legume family. Uh, so you have to back away from some of these and rotate them. Use some black beans sometimes, use this. Now they are a starchier product. Uh, they are a starchier carbohydrate and protein. They have protein. Um, so you're just gonna use what you need. Two tablespoons, a quarter cup, something just to put over top. It's not like you're, you know, sometimes we get carried away when, especially if it's chips and dip, you are like dipping and constantly eating. This is supposed to be like a purposeful meal that's small and adding what you can in variety to support your immune system and the motility function of your intestinal lining. Now, a lot of people need a lot of healing in that, that uh, lining and it, it starts in the mouth and the teeth. Um, you can tell that if you're having dental issues, it, it's more likely also that you're gonna have some issues in your gut. So um, what you're eating and drinking is so very important and I wish you a beautiful Sunday. Um, I'm gonna put this salad together and take a picture and send it to you on my Facebook page and I hope that you will Think about incorporating some of these other things instead of just fruit to your salads um, and then making sure that you're always using those rainbow colored foods um, to accent if it's not a bean protein, if you're using an animal protein, maybe a small piece of turkey, a small piece of fish or small chicken, beef, whatever you're using that it's organic, it's, it's grass-fed, uh, it's in better, um, comes from better sources, and that uh, you're mindful when you eat. Diane Greco-Allen, Food Relationship Coach, Pain Management. I hope you have a blessed day.